that's what I'm going to be doing today. Um, there's no tutorial for the makeup that I have on, but it's really simple. It's just um, gray that's blended out with a creamy white, and then um, I have some black liner, fake lashes, you know, really simple stuff. So you don't really need a tutorial for that. But I'm going to get going on the hair tutorial because I have to go to work really soon. But yeah, I don't know why someone would want me to do a tutorial on how to straighten my hair, but whatever. I mean, I guess some people just don't really know. I mean, I know I didn't know when I first started doing my hair, so. Okay, here goes. So basically right now what I'm doing is I'm separating my hair. I like to start off from the bottom layer just because it would be easier to start off from the bottom than start off from the top and work your way down. And that is my Got To Be Guardian Angel Heat Protect and Flatten Flat Iron Balm. It's really good. It pretty much saved my hair. Um, and that's my Cortex Flat Iron. It works pretty well. Um, it's okay for people with fairly straight hair like me. Um, as you can see, I am going over it a few times. It's, it's alright. It works really well. I've been using it for about a year and... Really, um, it's probably the best straightener I've used ever since I started straightening my hair. That is uh, Sun Silk Hold Me Forever. It's like $3 at Walmart. I really like it actually. It works really well and it's, um, it's a flexible hold hairspray. So um, it's really good for me because I don't really need too much of a hold when I'm straightening my hair because it's really just to sort of wait my hair down and um, not allow it to go frizzy because a lot of the times after I straighten my hair it'll like go a bit um, poofy and I don't really like that. I like the pin straight um, look so that just helps me. So I spray it on after I straightened um, the layer and then comb it through so there's no like really like clumpy hairspray parts and it's it really works well and it keeps my hair straight all day. So right now I'm on my second layer of hair and I'm just going over um, the parts that are probably more damaged. It seems like the more damaged parts that um, of my hair I have to go over a bit more just because, I don't know, I guess it just doesn't straighten as easily. Um, but that's probably from like the bleach um, that I use to make my hair blonde. So now I'm doing the last layer. And with the layers, depending on how thick your hair is, it just depends on like, you know, how well your straightener works also. You might want to do like four layers or five layers. For me, my hair is fairly straight, so I really don't need to make more than three layers usually. And for the top layer, I find that I have to go over my hair more than I do for the bottom ones, probably because of the damage that I mentioned earlier. It's not too bad though, I mean there's some people who have like really damaged hair, but I would say I have pretty good hair for what I put it through. And yeah, so make sure you comb it really well. Here I'm just separating top, like probably the top crown and that's for teasing. So what I'm doing is I'm taking about an inch thick hair and I'm back combing it. And then I hairspray it really well. And then I'm taking a corner triangle and back combing that also just to make um, it look like when it's down that my head is not like lopsided if you just take it straight. Um, I just find it gives like a better rounded look to your hair and also hairspray that um, and I'm brushing through it not brushing through the tangles that I just created but just brushing over the top and making sure everything is smooth and then fixing um, the parts and fixing my bangs and everything and that's pretty much how I do my hair um, if you'd like you can always hairspray the top of that to keep all of it um, together the way you like and I usually hairspray my bangs. Okay so that is how pretty much I straightened my hair. The only part that got cut off was the fact that I was just like you know molding my bangs and then 
hairspraying them into oblivion so that they don't move because I hate that. I know some people like movie bangs, but I don't like, you know, bangs that like move in the wind and stuff. So, um, I would also like to mention that my hair is actually naturally straight. It was just um, kinky because I had it in a bun um, using a hair tie and that always makes it kinky because it's not virgin hair. It's like, it's somewhat damaged so um, from dyeing it and whatnot. So it easily um, loses its straightness. And yeah, um, other than that though, I will be doing another tutorial on how I curl my hair, but I don't do that very often, so I can't tell you when that's actually going to be uploaded, but when I do it, it'll be uploaded, so look out for that. Um, it'll be soon, maybe like three, four weeks, whatever, maybe even sooner. And also, I will be doing more tutorials on makeup. I just haven't had time because I've been busy, I started a new job, I've been hanging out with friends, you know, boyfriend, all that stuff, Christmas. And that's about it, so I hope that was helpful for whoever requested that. I can't remember who requested it because it was like a month ago at least. So there you go. And if anyone else has any requests for anything, you know, makeup tutorials, whatever, review, whatever, um, just let me know, send me a message or leave a comment and I will definitely get back to you on that. Okay, so have a nice day everyone.